Okay, how many players do we have? Hi there, everyone. This is Steve K. Thanks. Here with you all once again with more videos. And this is going to be my hey, seventh game of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the third edition for PlayStation. In six games, I managed to win either $36,000 or $37,000, but I will double check that. I think it's $37,000, but I'll see. I'll be known as Steve K for this. Let's get to it. Instead of just Steve. So let's do this. Okay, let's play. Let's take a look at your first question. According to the title, the 1984 Stevie Wonder song, I just called to say what? It's over. Hello. I love you. What's up? It's I love you. I just called to say. Are you sure that's your final answer? I just called to say I love you. You think answer C can be I just called to say how much. That's right. Yep. Great song by Stevie Wonder. $100, and even that score will put you at the top of tonight's leaderboard. Something heard but not paid attention to is often said to go in one ear and out what? Your nose, the door, the other, your navel. That would be the other. In one ear and out the other. Yep. Yes, you got it right. Yep. You've got two hundred dollars and a long way to go. According to a popular phrase, one man's meat is another man's what? Cow, poison, dessert, veggie burger, poison. Answer B is your choice for this one. Right. Yep. Heard that phrase before. Hey, that's question number three and three hundred dollars. Now for five hundred. Take a look at this. By definition, which of these people would most likely use hocus pocus? Magician, cook, gardener, knight. Magician. Hocus Pocus. Going with answer A. All right. For sure. And you're right. Yep. 500 right now in the first safe haven coming up in a guaranteed seventh game. $500 and counting. Now for your $1,000 question and a chance to reach the first safe haven. Here we go. All right. What automaker manufacture, manufactures the PT Cruiser in the, 2000, the 2001 Motor Trend Car of the Year? Chrysler, Oldsmobile, Pontiac, Toyota. I believe it's Chrysler. I'm going to go with that. Chrysler, PT Cruiser. You seem sure Ed's Ray won't let you down. Yes. All right. Got it. Thousand dollars guaranteed, seventh game, and all three lifelines still left. Hey, that's one grand for your effort so far. Your next question worth twice that much. All right. Children in a Pop Warner league play what sport? Football, baseball, basketball, hockey. Okay, I know it's not baseball, not hockey, it's either... Alright, I'm gonna try the 50-50. You want 50-50? Alright, computer. Take away two of those wrong answers. Hmm. Well, there you have it. Hope it helps. Football, final. Would you like to make that your final answer? Final. Okay, A it is. Yes, you got it All right. right. 
That was my first guess. I had to make sure. Okay, that's 2,000 bucks in your pocket. Now let's take a look at the question for $4,000. Getting exciting, isn't it? We'll see. In physics, which of the following is not considered one of the six simple machines? Le lever, lever, screw, pulley, anvil. I know I had this, and I believe it's anvil. You're gonna go with anvil. Because I said screw, and that was not it. It's anvil. When you're right, you're right. All right. Very nice. Seven questions down, eight to go. You're in a good place. Here's the next one for $8,000. What kind of doctor is most likely to perform a corneal transplant? Ophthalmologist? Optima? Optim, op, op, optometrist? Excuse me? Optician? Of destruction. Ask the audience. I must ask the audience. Seventy-eight percent says well, ophthalmologist. Sixteen percent for optometrist. I'll go with the audience. Ophthalmologist final. Trusting the numbers. Well, that's fine. Yeah, that's, I think that's what I was leaning towards. Yes, All right. That's it. One lifeline left, still going for 16,000 now. Hey, you're one smart customer, but we're not finished with you. Let's see how you do with the $16,000 question. See it. What legendary theater house in London, England premiered many of William Shakespeare's plays. Globe, Victoria, Ford's, Thames, or Thames. I'm gonna have to phone a friend. Oh, I guess we'll call my friend Clark. He's the most knowledgeable professional clown on the planet. Is that you, Jingles? Hey, Clark, it's Regis Philbin calling from who wants to be a millionaire. Oh, I'm sorry, Regis. I trained my monkey to use the phone, and he's been crank calling me all day. Say I'm doing millionaire here. We've got a question for you. Are you up for it? Well, could you make it quick? I've got a birthday party with all two-year-olds in 30 minutes, so i got to conserve my strength. Okay, take a look at this. Good thing I paid attention in English class. Well, we needed some help with a millionaire question. And you seem like the perfect choice. Well, obviously, it's answer A. That's terrific. Thanks for giving us your unique insight. So long. Anytime, Regis. Bye. My clown friend says you should go with answer A. What do you think? Well, not really what I was leaning towards, but I'm going to trust him and go with it. Final. Glow. Want to go ahead and make that your final? It's my final. Going to agree with my friend? Fine. And you're right. All right. Wow. You're on a streak here. Congratulations. But don't stop now. The next question puts you at $32,000. All right. Second safe haven. According to a New Orleans Mardi Gras tradition, king cakes are baked with small, with what small plastic figure inside? Crown, pig, rose, baby. 
I think I know this. I think I had it. I think it's baby final. You gotta go with